today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the March Fairy Loot. So this month's box is really special because it is the second year anniversary of Fairy Loot, so it is a purple box and I'm so excited to see what's in it. If you guys aren't familiar with Fairy Loot, they are a monthly subscription service that will send you a newly released YA fantasy or sci-fi book every month, as well as other bookish goodies that fit a theme, and I don't remember the theme for this month, but I remember I couldn't guess the book, and I'm pretty good at guessing the book, so let's dive in. I will link Fairy Loot down below, and you can also use my coupon code Haley to receive 5% off of a three or six month subscription. So first we have the card for this month and the artwork on it is always beautiful, but the theme for this month is memorable moments. So first we have a little bookmark for the bells by Danielle Clayton, which I have and I actually have to read. But on the back it says, I am a bell, I control beauty. Next is, this must be where the smell is coming from because there's something that smells like fruity and delicious. Just like Fruit Loops. Is that something for like a cereal? I feel like it is. But this is Bilbo's birthday cake and oh, it smells amazing. I don't know, is it like, it's by Geeky Clean. Oh, it's a soap bar. Interesting. And the scent is strawberry and vanilla, which I'm a big fan of. Next is a little mini candle here, and this is Goblet of Fire, so it smells like fresh bread and chocolate. Amazing. Oh yeah, that smells good. Smells really good. Let me see who made this. This is by Paper Flames Candle Company, and it is so cute, and I really enjoy it. Very nice. Next is a Toast to the Warden of the North. I'm assuming it's Hot Chocolate by Epony, Eponine? Fine Chocolate and Confectionery. Yeah, luxury drinking chocolate. Ooh, I kind of want to smell it, but like I don't want it to go everywhere, but like we're gonna take risks because that's what I am. I'm a daredevil. No, I'm not. Okay, it's fine. It does smell tasty. Next is Cork Bunting. Look at that pupper. He's so cute. I love him. Oh, he got the ball. This is actually really cool. So it contains, oh, there's a kitty cat. Oh. Anyway, so it has five little cork flags and then like white squares string and then you get pins and then foam pads. I'm not sure what those are. Oh, you protect surfaces from scratching with them. That's really cool. So it's just like bunting. That's cork. Hence cork bunting. Next is, I think it's a scarf, but let's open it. This is really noisy. So just give me a sec. Ta-ta! I think this is runes like from Shadowhunters. Ooh, you can see me. Ooh. What was that? I don't get out much. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Shadowhunter rune. Let me see. So this was made by Fiction tea designs. Very cool. This is a nice subtle bookworm thing. I enjoy it. And finally we have the book for this month which I'm super excited to figure out what it is. Oh actually there's a little button here. Oh this goes with the bells so it says bell on it. But let's see what the book for this month is. It is State of Sorrow by Excuse You. Easy there, Speed Racer. Anyways, it is State of Sorrow by Mel Melinda Salisbury. Oh, it's the author of The Sin Eater's Daughter, which I haven't read, but I've been intrigued by. Interesting. I do like, I like the cover. The cover intrigues me. And you get a little postcard thing. Cool. And then the bookmark that matches the card. Oh, nice note from the author, which is always great. It's a story about grief and imposter syndrome and how hard it can be to believe in yourself. Interesting. I'm very intrigued by this. I don't even really know what genre it is. Let's see. So it's like a fantasy and there's the Court of Tears and a grief maddened father. I've never heard of it, but I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. Then we have the fairy scoop for this month, which has an adorable little timeline of how fairy loot came to be. We also have, ooh, Who's that? Who is that girl? Please focus on the real, no, that. Yay, look it. Do you know her? I think I do. That was such a lame joke, it's fine. So I was asked to come up with a quote about fairy loot. So I said, opening my fairy loot box is a magical experience. The box is like a treasure chest that contains not only treasures, but a portal to a fantastical new world just awaiting my discovery. I think that was a pretty good quote if I do say so myself. I stressed over that and it took me like hours to do, I'm not gonna lie. But this is so fun and I'm glad that I'm there. That's me, yay! And I really do love Fairy Loot. They are the best, and I'm so excited for next month's theme, which is Whimsical Journeys. That sounds like everything that I need in my life, and I love it. But that is all for today's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending their box to me. Don't forget to go and check them out in the link down below, as well as use my coupon code Haley for 5% off of a three or six month subscription. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thursday, as well as bonus videos sometimes. You can also keep up with me on my social media. I have Twitter and my Twitter is at Hales and Bookland and I also have Instagram and my Instagram is at Haley and Bookland. But all the information as well as my other social medias like Goodreads are down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!